calculation we need to know the day counting rules which is again i think we have spoken no sorry sorry we have not spoken about it till yet you are learning it for the first time now sir for example the time period of the security is 15th november to 15th jan so do you realize generally we assume the transaction to be happening on the end of the day right so in that case do you realize 15th november's day has gone and my first day for the calculation will be 16th of november right so from 16th november to 15th jan you will have to do the calculation you will have to ignore 15th of november so please have your calculators in hand let us do the calculation sir from 16th november to 30th of november it is 15 days 16 17 18 19 20 plus 10 more days 15 days right plus 31 days of december and 15th jan will obviously be counted because we ignored 15th of november 15th jan till the end of the day 15 more days are you people getting a calculation of 61 days requesting your responses quick 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 please everyone similarly similarly from 31st october to 15th jan is the time period for the security you bought the security on 31st october the security will get redeemed on 15th of jan right Th from 31st october if i have purchased it obviously as the natural rule says will i count to this day no my counting will start from 1st of november so i will ignore the ignore start date I will ignore the start date right which is 31st October I will do the counting from 1st November so 30 days of November 31st day of 31 days of December and 15 days of Jan which gives me 17 6 days in total which is again fine easy if my calculation is 1st November to 15th Jan, so applying the rule that you have learnt above, what should ideally, what should you ideally be doing? Starting your calculation from 2nd November till 15th Jan. But you know what happens? Institute, this is what Institute does, right? And based on what Institute does, I have to create certain rules and share it with you people. You will be able to feel it intuitively do you people feel that first november gives automatically gives you a feeling like a start of the month right as in it gives you a feeling that i should also be counting this day when it is some random dates like this everyone one second when it is sorry when it is some random dates like this, I understand I have to start from the very next day. When, when it is 1st November, people, you will have to always remember that you should do your calculation considering including even 1st November. So you will start from 1st November and it will again be 76 days that you do only when it generally starts from 1st November, 1st November, 1st of any month. Could I please conclude for you how would you do the day calculation? Because if I don't teach you this, you will always be worried that, sir, what does institute do? Sometimes it considers this, sometimes it excludes this, sometimes it includes this. People, now this day counting rule, everyone, please don't write this down now, is applicable for money market instrument. In fact, entire AFM, if you realize. Right? So we can literally take it to... the initial pages somewhere in the initial pages somewhere in the basics of AFM if we take this down even people it will help you so the right place for that will be if you find a place anywhere it's fine so over here achha, this place we left for the formulas this place is for dirty power 
नेक्स्ट पेज मे बी इक्विटी एंड बिजनेस वैल्यूएशन द नेक्स्ट पेज पी बी सो दिस इज डे काउंटिंग रूल्स फॉर ऑल टॉपिक्स now primarily it will get applied automatically to the topics people primarily it will get applied automatically to the topics in which day wise calculation is needed like like the topic of money market instrument like the topic of derivatives like the topic of mutual fund primarily in these three calculations day wise calculation is needed for which the learn for which the rule you have learned is this cool otherwise for the annual calculation like equity share fixed income security portfolio you don't have to worry at all so dhananjay yes in conclusion in this scenario in this scenario which is an exclusion kind of thing you have to include even the jan include even the first date include even the first date and from 1st of november it turns out to be 76 days so i'm giving you a time for 2 minutes kindly very quickly write this down 